Howdy. Howdy. So we took the seven back to my hometown. Um, I didn't record on the way up because I was too stressed about the car. Uh, obviously it made it. Uh, just not with the flying colors I expected. So, as you can see from earlier, it was kind of pretty rough, rough backfiring and whatnot. It was a little too lean. Uh, so I went and redid the whole VE map to make it a little more rich, a little more linear, because there were some peaks and valleys in the last iteration. So what we're going to do is we're going to data log and get us on the road and then hopefully we'll see how the tune does on the highway if it's good enough on the highway say it's too rich we'll just lean it out a little bit which isn't a big deal because i can extrapolate out how much fuel i need through the rpms yeah it's because of the control on the highway and see how the car is doing and then kind of just go from there if the car is working perfectly fine even if it's running you know mid mid 12s to high high 12s hopefully that's kind of the area where certain we're in and i can just pull a tiny bit of fuel and be fuel efficient enough that we're just not wasting it on the way home so uh, right now when i accelerate we're pretty stoich um, but when, whenever we're cruising, it's pretty, it's pretty rich for around 10. So we'll have to pull some fuel regardless. But uh, hopefully we're good in the, the RPMs where I need to be just to make it home. And then we can tinker with it probably later tonight. Let's get on the road.
back from my hometown. Uh, cars still in one piece, so that's good. Uh, probably not the most exciting video to watch, but it was really stressful for me because the tune was still not quite ironed out. Uh, driving back, it was way better. Uh, I managed to uh, sit down and have a little time before I had dinner with my parents. Um, you want to pee? Yep. <laughs> So, yeah, the AFRs were perfect, like, cruising on the highway. They were, like, 14.5 to 14.7, so I'm more than happy with that. The biggest issue is that the AFR safeties are kicking in super early, so I can't even get a chance to look to see what's going on, um, which is a good thing normally, um, but when it's just, like, literally no boost, no load, I don't mind if it goes to, like, 15 a little bit. So, uh, we'll have to iron out some kinks, but... This is definitely enough to get it to the dyno, get it on there, make sure it is working. Uh, the only thing I'm concerned about is maybe the, the ignition coil is being old or bad. Uh, so, but it's the first time it's had like actual bugs on it with the all over it. So, I've got some cleaning to do now. But uh, it started off with the day being really sketchy. Um, and advanced into uh, pretty reasonable. I'm actually fairly happy with how it turned out. So uh, it was a solid uh, a solid three hour drive. So, I mean, there and back. So I'm feeling a little more confident. But once we get on the dyno, I'm gonna try to talk to uh, a buddy of mine to see if he'll tune it. If not, uh, worst case scenario, I'll do it. I'll just, you know, play it super safe. Uh, but I actually will be able to uh, set everything up where it's just, it's a little rich. It's a little, um, the timing's gonna be a little bit So that way I don't have to worry about detonation or anything like that. So, yeah, just safety. That's uh, the priority is that we make it through Drift Week, even if we, you know, aren't full power so kind of a weird end to the video um, a little bit melancholy but uh, yeah thanks for watching uh, it's really stressful today so I'm not in the greatest of moods just ready to go home look at the data log go over it make sure everything's good obviously there's gonna be a lot of places I need to fix so um, be sure to check out the sponsors uh, Central Speed Supply Atkins Rotary uh, carbine design wheels and detwerks links will all be in below just like before um, any of the music that i used i'll be sure to include a link down below and yeah i'll catch you guys next time